all those means in order, please rise for pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, the next item is approval of the agenda. I'd just like to make one little correction under 2D. Uh, just delete the words resolution 201607, but leave the rest. All right. Okay, so delete resolution. Yep. You didn't say that before. Delete resolution 21607. Yep, because that, we do not have it ready tonight because we do not have it ready. Oh. Okay. But we are going to discuss the purpose. Okay. Yeah. So. There's no other additions or modifications I would like to make. Um, a motion to accept the agenda as amended. Second. Moved and supported to approve the agenda as amended. Any discussion? Hearing none, call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Motion carries. The next item is approval of the minutes for the meeting of October 11th. Motion to approve the uh, Minutes from our meeting on October 11th. Support. We need support it to approve the minutes of the October 11th meeting. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Motion carries. Mm -hmm. The next item is the financial report. We began a month with $170,209.09. We took in receipts of $8,378.18. We made disbursements in the amount of $114,988.65, leaving us with an ending balance in the general fund of $63,598.62. Okay, um, um, one question here before. I noticed that we had a new Yes, we did. We had but the amended. bottom line is the same. Yes. I know the bottom line was not the same because oh, right. there was a change in the bill oh, detail. Oh, yeah, I see. And when the bill okay. detail was changed, that changed our bottom line because it changed our disbursements. Okay, I understand. There's only forty-four dollars difference. Mm -hmm. just, uh, okay. Okay. I make a motion to approve the financial report as received. Support. Moved and supported to approve the financial report as received. Any discussion? Any none, call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Motion carries. We now on old business, township offices. Uh, we're all moved into the new offices. Uh, all the input or feedback we get from all the residents that are coming in to do their voting and business has all been very positive. Uh, I think everyone is pretty satisfied with the uh, end result of all our efforts, sir. And that's about it. Did the furniture work out all right? Oh, amazing. It was beautiful. Amazing. And, um, uh, one, one little thing I'd like to add, um, with your uh, permission, is I notice we have a township board meeting on December the 13th. If you like, I will arrange for cake and coffee to be served that evening, mm -hmm. and we might, um, by way of I'm not sure what, uh, invite people in. We sure. might uh, uh, do it by Facebook, we can do it on our uh, website, mm -hmm. or we can do it by word of mouth, and uh, invite people in to take a little tour. Even, would, like. um, would you, uh, and I'd be willing to be here for it, would you be willing to have it? A little bit before meeting time. Oh, also? definitely. Okay, that would be fine. And any um, kind of refreshments, I'll pick up the tab. Oh, oh, that's quite. I think we'll just do a, you know, a sheet cake and um, uh, coffee. Put grand opening. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> coffee. Whatever. Sure. Sheet, perhaps. Sounds good. You know, yeah. Whatever they invite like. the public in. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Let them let them take a, a tour through. I think it'd be very nice. Yeah. It'd be great. Well, Thank they can you. come any time that you want because it's the people's building. Right. Well, yes, they can. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyone in the township, if you want to stop by for business or for pleasure and check the place out, come on in. Mm -hmm. You're always welcome. The old furniture, we're, um, we're just posing that right in. And some well, of it the guests I... are gone. But uh, Some of the chairs we're keeping, the computer 
desks that absolutely I could find nobody that even yeah unless six rivers could use those I think <laughs> really if no. you uh, no thank you so they're I can I know where they're going okay right. and uh, they got to be out this week right so. yeah, they'll leave the building for a few minutes. Huh? They'll yeah. eat the building for a few minutes this winter. <laughs> well, I was going to say, there, isn't there a, oh, it's not our holiday. Guy Guy Fox Day is, is uh, November 5th. If you want, I can bring them up. It's a bonfire sort of night. night. <laughs> you know, well, any I'm, Englishman around. Somebody volunteered to have it for the bonfire. Right oh, okay. Now, so. Really? I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, saying, so I'm, I'm not sure about some of that stuff. Yeah, there. I know. I know. Press okay. board. I don't know how it works. I bet though you. I bet you guys will remember your time up here as some of your happiest days at um, time ever. <laughs> it's all a fog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is true. There's my calendar. <laughs> okay. Okay. Moving on. Item B. Uh, recreation survey. Uh, the planner has completed our survey. It is currently on our website. I have copies here for you tonight. Uh, if anybody would like to. Go on the website, it's cascostclair.com. Uh, there's a survey on there, you can take it online. It's very short, there's only what, five, there's only 11 items. Mm -hmm. uh, take it 10 minutes. And we'd like your feedback. Uh, if you don't have uh, a computer that's working, we have copies available at the hall every day. Please stop by and get one, and we'd be appreciative if you would take it and fill it out. How long is the survey um, good for? So when does it run? Close. You know, I'd have to look at the timeline again, but uh, I would assume that, you know, probably close to a month anyway. Okay. So uh, that's about all I can tell you. Okay. It's a pretty short thing. Just trying to get some feedback from the residents of what they think. You guys just got it tonight, so you didn't really get a chance to look it over much, did you? So, we just got it today, actually. Okay, moving on. Unless somebody else has anything on the survey. Okay. Item C, Melbourne Drain update. Uh, the bids were it's supposed to be in to the county, and they were supposed to be open sometime today, and 15th of the month, they will determine, they will tell everybody what they're going to be assessed at. So, we will know then. It's going to be a lot. So we're hoping, I'm hoping the bids come in low, but it's still going to be a lot. So and we'll know a lot more after the 15th. After the 15th, we'll know how much? Yep, and all the property owners will too. So. Okay, moving on. Item D, the ORV ordinance. I've talked to the commissioner, Dave Rushing, and they're still working on the process. So. As soon as they get it, they're going to send it to us. I assume it's just going to take a board resolution if you want to act on it. But uh, I don't have it yet, so until they come up with it, I won't have it. Working on the opt-out part? Yeah. Uh, actually, the one guy up there thought we needed an ordinance. I said, no, you don't need an ordinance to opt out of an ordinance. I'm sure it's a resolution, but I think their lawyers are working on the language. Well, I stuff. mean, what? Is that going to, if we opt out, I mean, what does that mean for us? That means we're the same as we were a month ago. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but if we opt out, is this going to be a countywide ordinance and what we it do? It is a countywide ordinance. Okay. It's already in. Well, okay. So that means it doesn't really make a difference. Well, no. It does make a difference. Well, okay. you, can, really. you can call the police. Then they're not going to respond. Well, but you may get a police report, and if it's a really bad situation, they can deal with it. Okay. So it does give you a couple options that you don't otherwise have. Uh, if we don't buy into it. We're already in it. It's getting out of it. Yes. They passed it countywide. Everybody in the county is in it. Okay. Now you have the option. Of, they don't want to be down. Okay. That's, we don't want to be. We don't Sorry. want to be. Okay. No, I would just, yeah. you know. I'll put you back where you were. Are we uh, the only ones? I don't know. Uh, a couple of the townships that were against it two years ago, I don't think they said anything this time. Uh, but we'll find out. Okay, moving on. New business, item A, snow removal contract. Uh, we got a price from Early Bird Earls. 
We've been doing it for approximately 10 years. Uh, the price is for snow removal and salting all winter long, sidewalks, uh, and it's the same amount as last year, $1,800. It's kind of hard to get competitive bids because a lot of the bigger guys, they go down to Detroit first and hit the banks and the stores. Where I will say for Earl, maybe once in the last four years, it wasn't scraped at nine in the morning. So we are satisfied uh, with their performance. It actually starts, going to start today. Uh, they didn't get to me in time for the last meeting, so it's on tonight. I move that we accept their proposal. I'll support it. Mm -hmm. Okay, move and support it to approve the contract with Early Bird Earls. In the amount of $1,800 for the Correct. period of time that's the contract. Yep. November 1, 2, 4, 1. So yes. Okay, is there any discussion? We have a roll call vote, please. Dan? Yes. Joe? Yes. Me? Yes. Bill? Aye. And Connie. Yes. Okay, moving on. Office closing. This is kind of a unique year. Yeah. Most years we swap Veterans Day, which is a holiday, for the day before Thanksgiving. Well, Veterans Day is on Friday this year, so no holiday to swap. Uh, the feeling of the office staff is, even though the hourly people will not be getting paid, they all want the day off. Okay, I make a motion we close the township offices on the day before Thanksgiving. Is that the 23rd? Yes, yes it is. November 2016. Support. Moved and supported to close the township offices on November 23rd. Any discussion? Call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Motion carries. Moving on. Appointment as a ZBA alternate. Well, I screwed up, which is a unheard of. And, uh, uh, I was sure they changed that law, but unfortunately they did. So you cannot have an alternate on the planning commission, but you can on the ZBA. I wonder why that is. What was their reason behind that? Well, I think, I think their reasoning is that you have more people. So if one's missing or something, we're in the yeah, ZBA, you got five. So, yeah, but the, it seems like the planning commission, the stakes are a little bit higher if you don't have a I don't know, that goes back a long ways where they thought, you know, they'd wait until somebody was out of town and call a special meeting and get the alternate to vote and maybe do a swing vote or something. Oh, how nefarious is that? Yeah. <laughs> Things like that. Well. Anyway, so. We're that far ahead. Something about Colton County. I went over to the <laughs> What do you mean? That's how we got the Korean War, you know. They had the Russian ambassador of the UN, they took him out of the country to look at the dairy farms in New York. While he was gone, they voted the Korean War. I think I think Abraham Lincoln pulled the same thing. So nothing's new. Okay. Well, I, anyway, I drove over to Mr. Instant's house and told him how sorry I was, and uh, <laughs> told him, you know, yeah, we still wanted him, and there was probably going to be vacancies in the Planning Commission next year. Yeah. And uh, would he have a problem getting on the ZBA as an alternate, even though they weren't going to meet till January unless we had business? And he said that would be fine. Okay. So I'm asking <laughs> you to appoint. I. Allison as alternate the ZBA term to end December 31st, 2017. I make a motion to um, appoint uh, Mr. Allison as uh, to the ZBA alternate to the term ending. The end of next year, the end of 2017. Um, 31st of December 2017. Second the motion. Movement supported to appoint Mr. Ensign. Yeah, with my apologies. Yeah, and he, but he seems like he's want to learn, and that's a well. ZBA's he's got to learn somewhere. Yeah, CBA is a. Yeah, yeah, we'll I'm glad I cut we'll my talk to him. Yeah, no, it'll be fine. That's a good place okay. to start. Any discussion? Hearing none. We'll call for a vote. All those in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstaining? Motion carries. Most people when they're going to politics, they want to go run for Congress first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Item D, purchase agreement with Six Rivers Conservancy. I had one in your packet. I put two more on the table tonight. One is a revised figure. If you notice, compare that Mr. Bunch can go this if he wants. He adjusted uh, the interest rate because he did not have but it. I plugged the wrong number in. It was my answer. And he's going to give us a $1,000 discount on his. Well, we 
pay him for the services, which is nice of him. Uh, the other thing I put on the table is the thing that we sent to Mr. Fletcher, the attorney, which I was hoping to have tonight. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have it back. And that's stopping everything until that's done because they can't move ahead with the purchase agreement until they have an agreement with us. So this is going to be tabled? Well, okay. yeah, what I'd like to do, and uh, you think the, the tenth is all right? It's fine. Yeah, it's fine by me. I, I would certainly hope that right. Mr. Fletcher could have say, but I don't see hear anything by Monday. I'll have to call him because yeah. that, that should be a two-hour job by, for somebody. <clears throat> yeah, it took me less than that to do it. So. Yeah. So I guess my recommendation is that we set a special meeting for November 10th right. uh, for this subject. Because it's possible I could have called them and got it today, but I don't want to throw it on the table in front of you and expect you to vote on it. Because it is going to be a legally binding document after you approve it. It's basically the terms by which you're going to purchase the land from Six Rivers. Now the language is all here in the thing I gave you tonight. And you'll see where Mr. Bunch basically took the one from the county and crossed out St. Clair County and wrote Casco Township. So that's why we didn't think it was going to take this reflection this long. 7 o'clock p.m. Right. Yep. Okay. Unless you guys seven. Unless you guys want to meet earlier, it's up to you. 7, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Okay. Yep. It's up to you, Joe, because you know, we work here. Yeah. And Dan's retired, so it's up yeah. to you. It's no, that's fine. 7 o'clock. Okay. Uh, are you ladies fine? 7 o'clock. What? what? The tenth would be uh, Thursday. 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 We yeah, Thursday. I yeah. I, I, okay. well, well, I, I Monday, <laughs> if we had it, Monday's the night before the election. No. And Tuesday's the election. Mm -mm. Wednesday's the day after the election, so they have hang I, election hangover. Yeah, I will so, not be here. You're not going to be here on the 10th. I will what not is be. your 30 second? Well, if you're not. The 10th. The 10th? Yeah. Well, yeah. you shouldn't be here then. Oh, well, well help, let's do it tonight. We always move things around. No, I'm not coming. I'm not. Okay. I, I won't be here the 10th. Uh, All right, so then, then let's the pick another day. Then pick so another I day. So I can have my anniversary. Or something. Yeah, that's yeah. I'll appreciate that, that, that accommodation. We can shoot for Monday. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're gonna have the table well, set up. No. It's gonna be us. Well, uh -huh. Let me let me offer this. I mean, if if you're comfortable with the agreement, if we have the discussion, you don't necessarily need me here. Correct. I mean, I I have sort of the same issue that you guys do. It's just that from November fifteenth on, it's a national holiday. So. I won't be available to show up. November 15th on. The opening, deer the opening of deer season. Monday, nice. oh, right. But if, uh, but if we approve okay. this next week. <laughs> who knew? Wait a minute. Let me offer this to the board. How about if we do it um, about maybe later in the, um, in the afternoon on the 10th? On the 10th? Yeah. Well, let me ask Mr. Well, Bush. I'll probably be gone. I mean, if, if, I, can, right. if I can have the day, I, otherwise. Well, I'll you know, we only need the. Uh, let me ask. Let me ask you something guys. first, timeline-wise, because you're going to be gone the week mm -hmm. of the fifteenth. Is it a benefit to have it on the tenth versus the next week? Well, yeah, because if we um, if we have the agreement, I can move the loan paperwork process okay. forward. It it won't change the ability to make the offer. It will give you the ability to call the guy and say the offer is forthcoming. I mean, we've got an agreement in place, and when he gets and and I would be back, whatever that Monday is. What'd you say? The twenty third was the day you're taking off. The day before Thanksgiving, so I'll be here. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. I mean, I, we could actually go make the purchase offer somewhere in those three days if we've got the agreement in place with us. I have I have a thing. I'll be here on the eleventh. I do not work. Do you want to meet on Friday the eleventh? Not my birthday. <laughs> are you are you going to be in, in the oh, area early it. any day next week? Yes. What day? Yeah, I can be here Monday evening. No, I said mm -hmm. early. No, I'm not. What, I'm, Monday next week? Well, or any I don't know what your schedule is. Any other? Not Tuesday, obviously. It's election. Obviously day. not Monday either. While I'm working okay. on the election. Yeah, let's not just. Well, for a fifteen minute meeting, if you could commit at like four o'clock or something. On Monday? For 3 30. Yeah. wouldn't hurt anybody. Yeah. Okay. Okay. On Monday, this coming Monday. Do yep. you want, uh, well. The 7th? If, if we do not have the material, 
by Friday of this week. So yeah, we can have a look it over. I will call a little cancel meeting. Okay. okay. Monday the seventh, what time? Four PM. Four, Four PM. Okay. Yeah. Or can you shoot for three thirty? Three thirty, I'll be here. Okay. Because that's when we get everybody gets off. So I'll be here. Well, except I have to be here until four. I have to be open. Okay, four o'clock then. Yeah. I don't know that. The only reason why you attend is long before that. So. Yeah. I have tickets to go see Joe Klein at the McComb Center. He's the um, he's the writer for Time magazine. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay. I've had his tickets for months. Now. Right. <laughs> so that's not a big hardship. Monday at four, Joe. What's that? You can make it Monday at four though. Yeah, I think it's a good idea for us all to be here for this. It's important. I'd like to. Yeah. Like I some, say, some popular interest, hopefully. You want to drop an email Mr. Fletcher tomorrow and say... I'll shoot him an out in the morning and ask him what's up. See if we can. Especially ours. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. yours takes longer. That's... Ours, ours shouldn't take, but, you know, the same 30 seconds that yours should take. I mean, right. it's... Uh, scanning it and calling it good. Do you want to talk about any of the details tonight, or do you want me to come back next uh, well, next week when you got it in front of you? Details of the agreement or the monetary details? All of the above. Oh, well, well <laughs> you haven't had a chance to read the agreement, so right. I mean, I I can tell you the high points of that and how that relates to the monetary. It's just the same conversation we had previously, which was. Uh, we will purchase the property. You guys will guarantee that you'll buy it from us uh, within the next three years. We'll hold it while you apply for the, to the Michigan Natural Resources Trust Fund. And while we hold it, you guys will pay the holding costs. You'll pay the interest and you'll pay the, the uh, acquisition fees, the title search and the phase one assessment and those things. Um, and that should all be good for you then when you take the property from us a couple of years down the road. And, and as soon as the grant comes in, we can do that. Yeah. I mean, we don't have to run any particular length of time. We can short circuit the Oh, absolutely. The yeah, the sooner the better. The sooner okay. the better, the less interest. Excellent. The the big issue will be that you're applying to the Michigan Natural Resources Trust Fund, and a, they're longer. That's a longer process, and once it's approved, you know, even if you get the money, if you're awarded the grant in December of 2017, you still got to wait for the state legislature to make the appropriation, mm -hmm. which usually doesn't happen until spring. And then once they've made the appropriation, you've got to work through the process with the trust fund board. So I was hoping we were going to close the St. Clair Parks deal by uh, end of this, by certainly by end of this year. But I was kind of hoping by the end of this month. I'm less optimistic about that now because they're just finishing the. Uh, the appraisal uh, that they have to do. Well, I thought they already had the grant applied for it. The grant, they've been awarded the grant, but the appraisal that they used to apply for the grant was a couple of years ago, so they've got it updated. Okay. So getting the appraisal updated isn't going to happen until the 17th. Plus, if we go for it, we're going to have to upgrade the appraisal. A couple of years down the road. Well, no, because they gave us the cut rate one. They tell me for the grant process you have to get the It'll be a right. It's about probably fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars more for the complete one versus the one we got. Right. But some of the costs in here, uh, like the phase one study and some of the other stuff, no matter if you buy it outright or he buys it, you're still gonna have to do it. Right. Okay. So it's not like you're spending the money because he's buying it. Right. So uh, guys want to leave it like this and then if you have any questions you can bring them up Monday sure I can always give Chris a call if he's, uh, yeah or if you I mean I can you can either call me in on the phone or if you want I can be here then whatever is best for you well I think it's pretty black and white yeah it's pretty straightforward yeah, it is. so drop uh, Gary Fletcher an email in the morning okay and let me know if he gets back here okay because we're not open Friday but he's gonna send it here by email we can Pull it off, right? Okay. Yeah, I can. Uh, if you need me to be, I can come back on Monday, or I'll just make myself available by phone. Whatever's good. I've got the date and time down. Very impressive brochure here. Yes. One question: How come you didn't have the Black River watershed? Well, when we the, it's 
because of how we were originally created, which preceded me. Uh, so we started in Oakland County, and so all of these six rivers, the Bell, the Clinton, the Flint, the Huron, the Rouge, and the Shiawassee, all have their footprint, all have some portion of their footprint in Oakland oh. County. There's argument about the Bell River, you know, if you're standing on the county line, you can just decide whether you're standing in a wetland on the north side or the south side of the line. But I'm hoping to revise our territory to really talk about the, uh, uh, the St. Clair River, because yeah. then that captures the Bell and the Black, and the deal we're doing with St. Clair County Parks is in the Black River watershed. Or is it more thing you print up so much up, say, Six River, yeah, Seven River, or Eight Rivers? I don't know. I, you know, it's hard. It's hard to find a name that resonates with people around here. So, uh, you know, that makes it. That you guys are doing good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, I guess we would need a motion to set that meeting date. Okay. okay, I make a motion to set a special meeting um, for the um, <clears throat> or the. Um, the purchase with the Six River Conservancy on Monday, November 7th at 4 o'clock p.m. Is that? Yeah. 4 o'clock p.m. I'll support that. Who's in support? You said a special meeting for the purchase agreement with Six Rivers Conservancy on November 7th at 4 p.m. at the Township Hall. Any discussion? Hearing none, call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Motion carries. The next item is payment of the bills. Are there any questions on the payment of the bills? Um, yeah, I'm sorry, there's two of them. They're both, I guess, there's one laid out here before the we... uh, What happened is, we had too many bills, and I had to delete this line so I could get oh, okay. all, all right. on one page. Okay. If not, I make a motion to approve payment of bills. Support. Moved and supported to pay the bills. Any discussion? Have a roll call vote, please. Colleen. Yes. Bill. Yes. Patty, yes. Joe. Yes. And. Yes. Okay. Moving on. Citizens' comments. I guess all I have to say is the election. Is a week from tonight, November 8th. Anybody living in Casco Township? Can you, well, you have an absentee ballot, you're done. Otherwise, you're voting in person. You have to come to the Casco Township Hall at Lindsay and Melbourne Road. And the hours are 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., correct? Yes. And no. We hope to see you. And I have, do your duty. I have, I have a question. Um, I come up here now. For every precinct, okay, you're going to have to have, you're going to have, because you're going to have some people voting on Richmond school board members. And it's, you still live in your precincts. You just get a different ballot. Okay. For I have five ballots. Five? Okay. Yeah, only five. No, I thought you had one. No, please, no. <laughs> no. So don't, no. John, and, uh, the township of Lake, but five school districts. Oh, um, just... yeah, thank you. <laughs> And another thing, there is no more downstairs voting. Everybody votes upstairs in the hall. I have condensed. Number two, all 80 ballots need to be in on Saturday by 2 p.m. If you don't have one and you need to vote, come in on Saturday. It's the last day. That's Saturday the 4th. Right. From 10 to 2. I will be here in my office and so will my deputy Brenda. Is that the 5th? What, whatever. The fifth. The November fifth is the absentee deadline. There we go. And our clerk and election workers are the best. <laughs> yes, they are. They are. Yeah, you're election right. workers are the best. No. Yeah. They I mean, are really. I have really good ones. Donald women. Trump in your face, because you guys are not great. Aren't you? <laughs> okay, anybody else have anything? Hearing none, we're up to adjournment. I make a motion to adjourn. I'll support that. We'll get the support to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Stay adjourned.